Hey everyone, welcome to the channel and to my favorite tires. Not because I'm team track, but still my favorite tires. So these are the XR4s. I run the 29 2.6s and I just found a pair. Um, apparently these might be the last ones in America. They are in a shortage. So these will only be my race tires only because I, I can't risk changing it out and trying to find some other tires because I don't know. I just can't. <laughs> so yeah, these are 120 TPI, uh, right at 945 grams. Um, you could run the smaller version, the 2.4s should be fine, but I've been rolling on 2.6s. Um, and they're pretty fast. They're real fast. Um, I run them, depends on what kind of riding I'm doing, but anywhere from 29 to 31 psi if i'm going to the bike park it's 22 and 25 those are front and back tire pressures they just seem to work best for me there's no folding over for me and i'm a heavy dude anyways and uh it could be that i'm running a 35 inch um interior uh rim size so maybe that's the reason why it doesn't fold over but they're pretty solid i only had one one flat and it wasn't my fault this guy was on a single track with a baby carriage in. I had a jump over off track, ran over a cactus in six holes, and I ran a sealant by the time it packed the last hole. So, But I still ran that tire, though. It's uh, one of my other ones. Anyways, very awesome tubeless. You can run tubes in it, but I don't know why, but uh, they're pretty solid. I love them. So I'll show you what they look like on my bike. So they look like on my bike here. Um, excuse the mess in the background, but here's the XR4. So these are, you know, these are slightly older on there. Uh, they have about 400 to 500 miles on them. This one's pretty solid. So yeah, it's a great tire for here in Vegas. Um, let me show you my secret weapon that I'm running in the back. So this is the SE4. So I use the SE4 in the back. Uh, just a, has the enduro case on it, so it's a little stronger. Uh, it does weigh a lot more. I don't know the, the weight offhand. I wanna say it's something in the 1050 or 1100, almost 200 grams more. Uh, but it's been pretty solid. And this has been to the bike park like five times already. Pretty solid tire. It has the same pattern as uh, the XR4. So if you take a look at that. Look over here, same pattern, tread pattern, uh, still 120 TPI, I believe I lost a check, but uh, yeah, it's a solid tire, I love it, have a couple of spares, um, but those tire, brand new tires are going to be only my race tires, so we're about six weeks away from uh, running our first race, uh, we're going to be doing an enduro race here in Las Vegas, and some people, when I take pictures, they ask me, I'm like, where'd you get those white tires? Actually, they're not white. They're just dirty. It just it hasn't rained here in such a long time. But anyway, subscribe to the channel. I'll show you all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, my writing. Anyways, that's my DVO. I should probably do a uh, write-up on that. It's been six months now. Seven months. Topaz Air 3. Then maybe I'll do a combo with the, the diamond fork there. Very sexy. 2042. We're on Timberline. They just had to... Enduro race last week. Whoop. And uh, I don't know if it's my favorite trail, but it's a lot of fun. All right. go as cleanly as I thought. <laughs> Actually pretty funny. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> There's so much gangster over the last one. Alright. Maybe I wasn't ready to race last week. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, 
completely got rutted out. It's all blown out from the race. Wild. That was wild. <laughs> Let me see if we can ride this all the way. Whew. It's a lot bigger than I expected. Woo! 